back. This is your second time to the Adelaide Vegan Festival. Yeah. Um, what, what are your impressions of the festival so far? Yeah, it's really good vibes, good people, amazing food. I've heard some good speeches and the music's good. It's just, yeah, very positive. Now, you've been on a personal journey yourself that became quite a high-profile journey. Talk us through that. What inspired you to take on that year of silence and what's the reaction been um, following that? Well, I had my own experience of suffering when I had cancer when I was younger and it became really important for me to learn how to help other people out of their suffering after understanding how bad it is to suffer. So I became a personal trainer and then I met someone who inspired me to look into the health benefits of cutting animal products from our diet and I realized I'd been doing my clients a disservice. I'd been telling them to eat animal products to be healthy when in fact consuming animal products is the cause or at least a leading cause of some of the worst health issues humans are currently faced with like heart disease and cancers and all kinds of things like that. So I decided to start learning more about you know, plant-based diet and that's when I learned about the ethical reasons of not consuming animal products. When you don't need to eat animals to be healthy, there's really no justification for the cruelty, the suffering, the violence, the killing of our fellow earthlings. And I decided, you know, I wanted to be consistent with my belief that animal cruelty is wrong. So I went vegan, which means you don't support any animal exploitation or animal cruelty. And I was also inspired to take action and do something. So I took a one year vow of silence to raise awareness for animals and promote peace over violence. I traveled around the country in that year, writing a blog, spreading the message with the people I met. And then I broke my vow of silence on the Sunrise Morning Show in an interview that was seen by millions of people all around the world. Since then, I've been traveling around the world giving free speeches on how we can respect each other, including other animals, not just other humans, you know, the health benefits, the environmental benefits, and it was all the positive things that come when we become vegan and all the negativity and the suffering that we can leave behind through doing so as well. And so I've been doing, I've given over 100 free talks now, and last week I did a fundraising event, a 24-hour tattoo marathon, where I got tattooed for 24 hours and we raised about $20,000 for a few charities. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, talk us through about the reaction you get from people. Um, have, the, have you had success in converting people and what are their stories and feedback to you? Yeah, I mean, every single day I get feedback from people who've been inspired to become vegan and it's, it's very positive because, you know, there's no, you don't need to be an animal lover, you don't need to be a particular religion, you don't need to love tofu, any of that. You just need to agree that violence and cruelty towards animals is wrong. And then by that own belief you have, that's what we should do. Veganism is the least we should do. It's just about basic respect. So I think when you explain it to people, you know, and when you show them all the benefits, the health, the environment, so there's so many benefits and there's no negatives. You can still eat all your favorite foods. You know, we've got vegan sausages, we've got vegan bacon, we've got vegan cheese, vegan ice cream, vegan everything. When people understand this and they, you know, they rule out their objections of they don't know where to get protein, they don't know where to get iron, they think animals are treated humanely. When they learn the truth about each of these objections, really the only thing left is to become vegan. So, so many people are doing it and it's very encouraging to see and I just hope it keeps spreading because, yeah, it's, it's the way, it's the path to a better world. For those who are curious about where to get the protein and, and where to get iron, talk us through, through the diet and how you can get that. You can get every single nutrient you need following a vegan diet, a plant-based diet. Where do you get protein? Protein's found in all foods and we're actually taught that we need a lot more protein than we do. Uh, some of the most elite athletes on the planet are vegan, including the world record holding strongman, Mr. Universe, world record holding ultra marathoner, world record holding arm wrestle champion. So there's no shortage of protein in the vegan diet. There are some foods that are high in protein like legumes like lentils and uh, nuts and seeds, tofu, things like that. But really, if you're eating enough calories, you're pretty much getting enough protein. You don't really need to worry about where to get it from. You just need to worry about eating enough calories, enough energy for your body. And yeah, there's, there's foods that are high in iron as well, like dark leafy greens and things like that. You can just blend that up into a smoothie, banana smoothie for breakfast, you're getting enough. So it's very easy to do. You know, you can spend an hour or two learning about what you need. There's dedicated websites to all of this. And once you know, you know, and then you don't have to learn it again. And you go about your day. In the end, you save a lot of time because you'll be saving trips to the doctors, you know, surgeries. You'll be extending your life. So you have a lot more time to enjoy it with your friends, with your family. And um, yeah, there's a lot of benefits. 
I'm looking at the message that you've got on your T-shirt, nothing humane happens in a slaughterhouse. How have you um, managed to deal with the suffering that you see, um, the animal cruelty that you come across? How do you remain so positive and, and overcome that kind of adversity? I just try to focus on the positives. People are changing. If someone like me can change, I didn't even care about animals before. I ate meat for breakfast. If someone like me can change and I see so many other people changing, I know everyone can change. And you know, you have to be a, a shining example, a positive, healthy, happy example if you want to create the most inspiration to others to also do what you're doing. So I just think it's a very important thing that we do focus on the positives. Yes, millions of animals will suffer and die today. We know that, but if we let that consume us, then there's, it's not, it doesn't seem as appealing when we're upset and angry all the time. There's so many positive things to focus on as well, and I just think it's impo important to remember what's happening and why we're doing it, but also there's so many good things for us too, and you know we can talk about that as well. So today we've obviously got a lot of food stalls. We've also got a very pet-friendly environment here. What's some of the, the food you've been checking out and something that maybe sticks in your mind as being the best food? Yesterday for breakfast I had as a cookie sand, like a cookie and ice cream sandwich. Those two cookies and ice cream in the middle. That was my breakfast. That's pretty good. Um, I also saw, which I'm going to get today, it's like in the shape of a slice of a cheesecake. It's deep fried on the outside, and on the inside, it's mac and cheese. So it's a mac and cheesecake. I know, like, it's, I can't wait to have that. Um, what else have I had? I had, yeah, just some delicious juices. I had like a chickpea curry. There's been heaps of food walking out. I've seen these, like those sticks full of, it's just like a potato that's been spiraled and deep fried. That looks good too. There's ice cream, there's chocolates, there's cakes, there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so there's something for everyone here. So what would be your message to people who um, might be toying with the idea of becoming vegan? Yeah, I'd just say that, you know, there's every reason to do it and no reason not to. You are going to get so many benefits. There's going to be so much less violence and cruelty happening to animals in this world. There's going to be so, you know, it's the only way really to sustain life on this planet. Animal agriculture is destroying the planet. It's something we have to do, but it's also something we should be excited to do. You're not sacrificing anything except for your contribution to animal cruelty. What you gain is more peace, more happiness, more compassion, more joy, more love. You're doing a very good thing. It's something that each and every one of us can benefit from. It's something we can do like that. It's very, very easy to do. You don't have to sacrifice any of your favorite foods. You've got the vegan alternatives to everything at the same supermarket. So there's just such a good reason to look into this for your own benefit, for your family's benefit, for the benefit of the animals and for the benefit of the planet. Well, James, thank you very much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the day. The sun's out and we hope to see you back next year. Yeah, thanks a lot. I've enjoyed it. Thank you.